What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how you can record and stream both horizontally and vertically using just OBS Studio. Streaming to platforms like TikTok is great for boosting viewership. However, usually you're only streaming vertical or you're streaming horizontally. However, with a very simple, completely free OBS plugin, you can record and stream in both horizontal and vertical mediums at the same time. This plugin is completely free and you'll find it linked down below. On AITUM.TV, you'll see a subscription here, but just scroll down and eventually you'll find this section with the vertical plugin, which is completely free. There's no subscription, no fee, no nothing. Click download here, then you'll be given an installer. So there we go. I just got the pop up to save it. Otherwise, you can click here and open it up when it's done downloading. Follow through with the installer as normal. You only really need to change things if you've installed OBS to somewhere different. Once it's done, restart OBS Studio and you'll see a brand new panel on the side here. Vertical. This is the second scene that we can play around with to record or stream at the same time using these buttons at the very bottom. We have a go live button, a record button, a backtrack clip, which retroactively saves the past few minutes if you've got this set up, and a vertical virtual camera for use in Discord or any other place like that. A settings wheel to the far right, where inside of here we can adjust our vertical settings. These are completely separate from your normal scene over here, and whatever recording or stream you have going will be completely unrelated to this. We can adjust the resolution. So if you're recording, you may want it something higher. Otherwise, if you're streaming, something lower. Anyways, you probably know what kind of thing you're looking for. I'll be recording probably 1440 by 2560. So I'll type it in manually for this. This way I can record 2K both horizontally and now 2K vertically as well. The first few ones I think here are vertical. Yeah, you could of course use this as a, another horizontal stream if you wanted, as a second camera or something like that. But anyways, bitrate, of course, set this to what you want. Virtual camera, backtrack, which you can enable here, which will save the past five seconds, for example, into whatever folder here. And you can set a hotkey to save the past few five seconds, five minutes, etc. I won't be using backtrack at all. Instead, I'll be using the streaming tab where we can set a name for whatever we're streaming to, like Twitch, for example. We can set a server URL and put our stream key over here. Clicking the drop down will give you a couple of ones that you have used on your other streaming setup over here. I, of course, stream to YouTube mostly, so I've got these links here. Then you can set a bitrate, start and stop streaming hotkey, and scroll down to more advanced settings to do with your video and audio encoder if there's something you want to play around with. If you're using an NVIDIA graphics card, I think you can usually record two NBank streams at once, but if you're using something where you only get one video encode session, then you may need to use something like QuickSync if you've got an integrated GPU on an Intel CPU or X264 to just use CPU encoding, etc. If you set up your streaming settings, you can probably copy and paste them in here and things should be fine. Otherwise, if you get some error about too many encoding sessions, just change it to X264 and use CPU encoding for your vertical video track. That's pretty much it, but I'll be skipping over these for now as we're using just the basic set things up here. Then finally, at the very bottom, you could also enable stream delay, although I think you can only do this if you have the advanced options ticked here. Then the recording tab is very similar. Once again, we can choose a recording path. So I'll choose, I don't know, my desktop temporarily. You can set a video bitrate. I'll set it to the same as what I usually record at. A start and stop recording hotkey. And finally, we can change how the video track is saved, audio tracks, etc. I'll leave everything as is here. And by choosing to use the stream encoder, it'll use the options from this tab over here. Or we can put custom options in here, such as maybe using H.264, our Intel GPU, etc. For me, I'll just set it to the same as my normal recording settings and things should probably be fine. Oh, and the final tab here just gives you some extra info, troubleshooting, guides, etc. The final option over here is for streaming to AITim.tv, but of course I won't be covering this at all as it's a separate paid service. We're only talking about the completely free vertical streaming and recording setup. All right, now that we have all of this done, how do we actually use it? 
Well, in order to add sources to it, you'll see a new panel, probably somewhere in your OBS, called Vertical Sources. Just to simplify things, I'll grab the top and move it to just below our vertical section here to simplify things quite a bit. All right, in here, we can simply click Add, and we can add sources as we would usually. I don't think you can copy and paste between these. Let's have a look. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be a paste. Anyway, we can add, let's go forward, display capture, and I'll copy my main setup over here. Now we can adjust it to include the gameplay on the bottom half of our screen or cover the entire screen and center it, etc. However, you mostly want to set things up. Usually if you're recording game streams or something like that, you want to have most of the vision, maybe on the bottom half and your webcam on the top, etc. But however you decide to use this is completely your preference. For me, I'll just set it to a full screen vertical recording like this and we can add maybe a webcam in the bottom corner browser source or anything like that i'll add a goofy ai frog picture because why not and i'll stick it in the bottom corner just so you can see this is different to our original horizontal recording up here now all that we need to do is click record and it'll simply record you can of course set up the same hotkey as your normal recording hotkey so you can record both horizontal and vertical at the exact same time Going live is exactly the same. You can also record separately, stream, however you usually do things. They still work completely normally. If we stop this vertical recording, we can open up the file, which has now appeared on our desktop, and you can see that it's exactly what we hoped for. It's a vertical recording of whatever we were trying to show, gameplay, etc. So that's it. Now that you've set this up to your liking, you could of course get to more customization, such as the vertical scenes over here. I can change between my different scenes up here, for example. And the vertical scene section is a brand new section which only affects our vertical sources over here. Once again, I'd recommend separating this. So I'll grab the top of it. Yep, that separates it. And I'll drop it probably here in vertical sources. Now I can change between scenes and sources. But of course, you can set up your OPS as you see fit. And of course, have these separate. Anyways, if you happen to close one of these at the very top, you can use docs to reshow vertical scenes, sources, scene transitions, vertical, which is this entire section here and that's pretty much all of the new docs that are added that's it from here you can record and stream as you would usually now with both a vertical setup and a horizontal one of course if you're running two streams at the same time it will take probably twice as much encode power as encoding just one stream so your vertical stream you'd probably want to lower the settings of whether it's the bitrate choose a different device to encode it if possible etc but for the most part doing both a horizontal and a vertical recording at the same time should help streamline and simplify your setup especially if it comes to creating content that fits well into both of these categories. Anyways, hopefully you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.